Hey guys, today we're gonna make a really quick and easy clay recipe. All you need is flour, salt, and water, and that's it. All right, let's go ahead and grab your mixing bowl. Let's get started. All right, first you're going to take one cup of flour and a half of a cup of salt and give those a little stir before you add in the water. When you add in a half of a cup of water, you need to make sure that you add in a little bit at a time and that it is cold water. A secret when you are making recipes like this is you have to be patient. Patience is key. Stir, 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 adding a little bit at a time. You will notice the more water you get, the crumblier it is going to be. When you are completely done and you've added in all of the water, if it still feels a little crumbly, I like to mix it with my hands. You can really squish it with your fingers and really get it mixed well together. The next step is to knead your dough. That means you are going to take a floured surface so it doesn't stick to your countertops and you're going to do the fun part. This is the part where you get to kind of play with the dough. I am folding it over, squishing it down, folding it over, turning it, squishing it down, and you're going to take it from crumbly to a really nice doughy texture. Before you can begin making any of your amazing creations, the last thing you need to do is to roll your dough into a ball and let it sit for about 20 minutes. This is called letting the dough rest. When you're completely done and you've made some amazing creations, you're gonna bake them in the oven with help from a parent at about 250 degrees for about one to two hours, depending on how thick your clay is. It should come out about like a rock or a stone. It should not be squishy at all. All right, have fun with this one, guys. I cannot wait to see all the amazing things that you make. 